This is space, a place so many people dream about visiting. And since I've never been there, it left me wondering, what if I built it in Minecraft? Now we're gonna be building eight different planets. And then in the middle, we're gonna be making our own space station. But first, I think we should start with our very own planet, Earth. And now that's the Earth complete. But now we just have one problem. We don't want this end island here. Which means we have to mine all of these obsidian towers. <laughs> I'm gonna love doing that. Oh wait, but I want to get all 20 gateways. And well, I only have one, so that means we need 19 more. And to get a gateway, you have to resummon the Ender Dragon. Now to resummon the Ender Dragon, you need four End Crystals. And for End Crystals, you need seven Glass, one Eye of Ender, and one Gas Tear. I'm guessing you know how we get Gas Tears. So now we can craft four End Crystals and summon the Dragon. Cue the, uh, cue the intense music. Alright, you can turn the intense music off. This should be pretty easy. And well, there goes the first one. Now we just have to do this 18 more times. It's been three hours. And now we have all 20 gateways going around the entire end island. So we can now work on getting rid of all of the obsidian towers. So if I just go like that, now all of the obsidian towers have been mined. I really just spent the last 28 hours of my life mining obsidian. Well, now to get rid of the entire end island, we're going to be using this. Oh, wait, I don't have it yet. Now let's get to building this TNT duper. And now the TNT duper is completely done. So we can set it off and let it destroy the island. And now while I'm destroying the end, I just want to ask everyone watching this video to subscribe. I've always wanted to hit 100,000 subscribers. And I'm starting to get really close. And if I hit it before the end of the year, I'm going to do whatever the top comment says. Just please don't make it too bad. And well, now the entire end island has been removed. And now that we're basically in space, I think I'm missing something. So now I have an astronaut suit on, you know, so I can actually breathe breathe in space. And now to actually build the planets, we're gonna start with the planets closest to the sun and work our way up to the planets that are the furthest away. And then at the very end, we're gonna be making the ginormous space station. So the very first planet we're gonna be making is Mercury. Now this planet is basically just stone. I mean, look at this thing. It's literally all stone. Well, we meet again. I feel like we come back to this thing way too often in my videos. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Well, that should be enough. And now to make sure this planet isn't a floating ball of stone, we're also gonna use some cobblestone and some andesite. And now we can get to building Mercury. Now on Mercury, a whole year is only 88 days. Also, even though it's the closest to the sun, it's not the hottest planet. And now that is Mercury done. Now the hottest planet is actually the one we're gonna do next, which is Venus. But first, I think we have a bit of an Enderman problem. Well, that now solves our Enderman problem. But these torches look terrible on the planet. So now if I just go like that, now all of the torches are invisible. And this looks a lot better. Now we can start building Venus. And Venus is also a pretty boring planet. So now if I just go like that... Oh, wait. I don't have the materials yet. Good thing all I really need is orange terracotta. And well, now we can get to building it. Now, the only interesting thing about Venus is that a single day is longer than a whole year. And now that is Venus complete. It's actually crazy how many Endermen were on it while I was building. It's like we have the entire end on this tiny circle. And now, this is where another problem comes in. You see, to actually get to space, you need a rocket ship. And well, I don't have one of those. So I think we're gonna have to build that next. Now, the only thing is we need over 10,000 different types of quartz blocks. Well, we have two ways of doing this. Either I can sit here and mine all the quartz by hand, or I could use this much bigger and better way of getting quartz. You see, with these villagers, each quartz block only costs one emerald. And we still have loads of leftover emeralds from my last video. And when using a mod called Tweakaroo, we can make it so villagers' trades never lock. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Look how much XP I have. It looks like it's never gonna stop. And now I'll just get back when I have all of the quartz. It's been 10 hours. Now, I'm just joking. It's been like 10 minutes. And now the only other material we need a lot of is deep slate. We need a lot of deep slate. Why do I do this to myself? 
Oh wait, we also need 15 lodestones. This hurts to do, but for the rocket ship, I will do it. I just wasted 15 netherite ingots for these things. But now we can start building this rocket ship. Now while you watch me build this massive rocket ship, I think I should tell you the real reason why I'm recreating space. You see, ever since I was younger, I always dreamt of going to space. But now, I don't think that's gonna happen. So I think building it in Minecraft will make my childhood dream come true. And now that's the spaceship done. Wait, I still gotta place these 15 lodestones. Now, if you think this is a lot of quartz, just wait until I have to build the massive space station. For that, I need over 150,000 quartz. That's gonna be really fun. Wait, what if I made it so the rocket ship actually works? Nah, I'm not doing that. That would take way too long. Well, now we can get started on building Mars. I mean, the Elon Musk planet, since he's trying to get us all to move there. Now, Mars looks pretty similar to Venus. So... We can now get to building it. Now, Mars is actually 53% smaller than the Earth, and it also has two moons. Now that is Mars complete. Now, I think we should get a little friend up here. We're going to a perfectly safe place. It's not like you're going to be surrounded by the entire void. I wouldn't do that to you. Well, I did it to him. Bro did not like that. And the reason I brought this guy here is because he's Elon Musk. Tell me, why are you trying to move everyone to Mars? I see. And well, now we get to move on to the more interesting planets. Starting with Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is just a bunch of white and orangey stripes. So I think we should use white and orange terracotta. So I say we cue the montage. Oh, come on, man. I'm trying to start a montage here. Now, cue the montage. And well, you know what time it is. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. In fact, if you hollowed it out, you could fit a thousand Earths inside of it. If you thought Mars had a lot of moons, well, that's funny. Because Jupiter has 80 moons. Now that Jupiter's done, we can start working on the planet that's been my favorite ever since I was younger. And that planet is Saturn. I think I liked it because of the ring going around it. Now, Saturn has more of a pasty white sort of look to it. So I think the main block we're gonna need is Endstone. Kind of funny how I didn't pick up a single piece of end stone, even though I destroyed the entire end island. Uh, I should have kept the blocks. And now we also need sandstone and white terracotta. So boom and boom. Now we have all of the materials to start building Saturn. Saturn has a whopping 146 moons. One of Saturn's moons is even bigger than Mercury. But the thing that makes Saturn, well, Saturn is the giant ring going around it. Wait, I should probably build that. And, oh, <laughs> did not mean to do that. But now Saturn is done. And now we only have two more planets until we can start building the ginormous space station. And those planets are Uranus and Neptune. But first, I thought of an idea. I'm going to be naming each planet after one of my channel members. So Pantry Massey, Trizo, and Jaden Allen. Thank you for being channel members. And now if anyone else becomes a channel member, I'll make sure to add them to one of these planets. And now since Uranus is a pale blue color, we're going to be using packed ice and blue ice. Now, while I collect all of the ice for Uranus, I'm going to be AFKing at the concrete duper because I need loads of concrete for Neptune. Well, now I have enough materials to build both planets. And now every single planet is done. So we can now get to work on the giant space station. You know, the one I need over 150,000 blocks of quartz for. So that means we need over 150,000 emeralds. Or the equivalent of all of these shulker boxes. And well, this thing isn't gonna cut it. So I say we blow it up. That was a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And now we're gonna be building a brand new raid farm. You got a big nose there. So now as soon as I... Flick this lever. Oh, wow. Now we have an entire raid farm built. Definitely did not spend the last few hours building that. Now I'll just come back when I have all of the emeralds I need. I swear this better be enough. And now we got to trade all of the emeralds with these villagers. Now this is going to take a while. So I'll just come back when I am done. Whoa. Now every single one of these shulkers is full of quartz. This is actually taking me way too long. Now next, we need 60,000 light blue stained glass. Because on this space station, I'm going to be adding a bunch of glass rings going around it to give it more of a futuristic look. And I mean, you already know how I'm going to get all the glass. Oh, yo, full iron mod? 
Now, while I'm AFKing for all this sand, I think I have nothing better to do than to tell you all to join the Discord server and also follow my Twitter. Both are in the description. But um, now we have to actually AFK. I promise that'll be the last jump cut. And now to turn all of the sand into glass, we're gonna use this thing. <laughs> Whoops, I already broke my promise. And now all we have to do is turn it into blue stained glass. And now we also need a little bit of purple stained glass because the rings going around it wouldn't look good if it was all blue. And now with all of the quartz and glass, we can now get to building the space station. This space station was one of the biggest builds I've ever done. And I think my younger self would be very excited about this. But honestly, it didn't fulfill me like I thought. Thought it would. I may have recreated space, but it's not the same as actually visiting it. So I think this might be a sign that I have to go to space later in life. Subscribe.